Sign up for for latest news plus tips to save money and the environment. Subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters. Sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or services we offer. Our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data, and your rights. You can unsubscribe at any time. Died on February 2nd and expected to be buried with his baby son and wife Peggy. But the local council has refused his plan because the grave is too small by half an inch. Hedvig Thomas said, at 30 a.m. on the day before my uncle's burial, the funeral home called to say the council had barred him from the grave. We've had no contact from the council, they abandoned the funeral home to that conversation. He was devoted to his wife Peggy and together they bought a family plot when their son Kenneth tragically died aged just 5 months and 167. It must just have broken their hearts. Campbell Mulholland had hoped he would be reunited with his wife and baby when he died. But according to Belfast Living Official at Ards and North Down Borough Council said Mr. Mulholland's grave only allowed for another 3 feet and in a coffin measuring 15 inches would not adhere to regulations. Donna said, Clark's funeral service offered to try to get a coffin that measures 11. with the hope that my uncle would fit in it. But the council says it would have to be 11 inches to stay within the rules, meaning we're fighting over half an inch of space. The funeral home asked for an extra half inch to be dug out of the grave and left on top of the grave to settle but the council won't hear of it. My uncle's wishes, intentions and the contract he had for burial have all been ignored. He paid for his funeral in full in 2012, 20 years after the new regulations and no one told him that there was a chance he'd be barred from his own grave. Where has humanity gone in Northern Ireland? What has happened that an old gentleman cannot be buried in his grave with his wife and baby for the sake of half an inch of soil? It's heartbreaking. My uncle paid in full for his own funeral service including everything from the flowers to the orders of service. He liked order and good sense and in the final moment of his life on this earth he has been subjected to disorder and very poor decisions. My uncle was taken back to the morgue after his funeral service and remains there unburied and alone. A spokeswoman for Arts and North Down said, All councils in Northern Ireland are bound by the burial ground regulations, Northern Ireland, 12, which details strict guidance in terms of the functions of a council in relation to its burial grounds. This is another scandal. The council should tell anyone who bought a grave before 12 about the legislation, not inform families the day before a burial causing shock, hurt and anger. Additional reporting Chili Beanie.